Mark Lowe in there. Twitter has apologised to women who have experienced abuse on the social network. Three female journalists and two MPs say they've received threatening messages. Police are investigating eight allegations. Twitter's UK general manager, Tony Wang, wrote, The abuse they've received is simply not acceptable. It's not acceptable in the real world and it's not acceptable on Twitter. Well, our correspondent Jane Peel says the apology from Twitter appears to have come after a large public outcry about users' behaviour on the site. There was a, a petition online uh, which urged Twitter to do something and that got over 120,000 signatures very quickly. Whether it's enough or not, um, we'll, we'll have to see. Certainly uh, some of the victims have said they're pleased that uh, Twitter is choosing to act now and do something. But uh, one of them, uh, Caroline Criado Perez, said that the problem is there's still very much uh, the emphasis on the victim to report the abuse, but she wants to know really how much can be done uh, by the company itself to stop this sort of thing happening. It is very difficult, of course, but, but Twitter says it is taking further action to try to prevent it. Well, we've had one of them also on the channel, uh, Catherine Mayer, Europe editor of Time magazine, saying, well, nobody's actually contacted me to apologise directly. Well, that's right. I mean, Tony Wang said he apolo apologised personally to them, but uh, she said that she'd uh, reported the abuse on Wednesday evening, and she still today had not received any response at all from Twitter and that's what she's particularly uh, annoyed about. What Twitter says is in addition to the apology, what they plan to do is um, introduce an in-tweet report abuse button for people accessing uh, Twitter from its website and also on Android phones. That facility is only available at the moment to, to people using Twitter on iPhones. That will come in next month. They also uh, plan to explore new ways of using technology to improve, as they put it, everyone's experience of Twitter. And they say they're actually taking on extra staff in the teams that will handle reports of abuse. And I think that's the key, really. How is that going to work? Because Twitter has 400 million uh, users every day. So, you know, th there is a large number of abusive tweets uh, that, that would have to be dealt with. How is that going to happen? How They're not going to be able to stop it, but how are they going to deal with it in future? Jane Peel there with the Labour MP Stella Creasy uh, who was threatened with rape by someone on Twitter and has been apologised to uh, but says sorry is not enough. Look I think it's very welcome it's a recognition that they didn't get things right the thing for me though now is that an apology isn't the end of the matter it should be the start of the process of getting the processes in place to get it right working with the police and with users of the site to make sure that everyone can use it free from fear. Have they apologised directly to you? Uh, yes, I have received an email, seemed a little bit, frankly, old school to me from Twitter, uh, from Tony Wang, saying that he was sorry that this had happened to us. A week on from the original situation where we couldn't get any response out of Twitter, that is very welcome. I just hope that this now becomes the beginning of a process of change, because it's not just me who's experienced this, or even Caroline, who at one point was getting 50 of these threats an hour. Many, many people on this site suffer unacceptable threats and harassment and abuse. It's a very old form of crime, stalking. It's just taking a new form online and we've got to be able to tackle it. Well, in that uh, email from Tony Wang, I mean, he's apologised. Uh, has he given any indication as to what the process will be to tackle this? Well, Twitter have talked a lot about using an abuse button. Some of us have concerns that that in itself could be used to harass people. But I want to see them putting in place something similar to a panic button system. Same thing we have offline when people are harassed in this way. That if a particular account is under a sustained attack, as I say, Caroline was receiving 50 rape threats in an hour. It's simply not practical to ask someone in that situation to fill in a form for every single one of them. That Twitter and the police can promptly act to identify these people and hold them to account for their behaviour. Stella Creasy, MP there. The managing director of Twitter in the UK has issued a public apology to women who've experienced abuse on the website. Tony Wang said the verbal attacks, which included threats of murder and rape, were simply not acceptable. He also announced the company is adding a report abuse button to each tweet displayed on its website. Joe Lynham reports. Some high-profile women have had to endure bomb threats like this one. 
Other tweets threatened violence, rape and even death merely for having an opinion. Caroline Criado Perez received hundreds of threatening messages and pictures on Twitter when she campaigned to have a woman on the back of the new £10 note. She won that campaign, but her treatment in cyberspace highlighted a serious issue for many. Unfortunately, Caroline still continues to receive threats, and I know other people are as well. That's why it's so important that this week becomes the start of that process of change and that we change that culture too, that somehow says it's inevitable that women will receive these kind of violent and sexualised images and just have to cope with them. It's not for us to cope with this, it's for society to change it. The misogynistic attacks led to an online petition urging Twitter to take action. That bore fruit today when the company said it was hiring more staff to monitor abusive comments and its UK general manager said he was sorry. Tony Wang said the abuse some women had received was simply not acceptable. It wasn't acceptable in the real world and it wasn't acceptable on Twitter. And the company is taking further steps. If I'm using Twitter with my smartphone and someone sends me what I believe to be an abusive message, I can report the matter using this red functionality here. The problem though is I cannot do that on my desktop Twitter account. That anomaly will be corrected from next month. The real issue with Twitter though is you can set up an account so easily and with such anonymity that if you are an abuser you can just change your identity and your name and then start the abuse all over again. And then there's the thorny issue of where does curbing abuse overlap with freedom of speech? Could genuine debate be stifled by people reporting as abusive what is merely a passionate debate? Women are not the only group to be singled out for abuse by so-called trolls. Today's promise of action by Twitter is a small but significant step towards protecting those in a virtual world who are already protected in the real world. Joe Lynham, BBC News.